My name is Dave Champlin, and I'm a biology professor at USM. I'll put this up here first. That's my email address. You're welcome to contact me about this. And I am the USM um, uh, person um, that is the uh, organizer, helps organize this uh, biomedical research internship experience at uh, Maine Health Institute for Research in Scarborough, so just down the road from USM to Portland campus. And uh, the um, goal of this is to describe specifically the application process, which is very straightforward, and, uh, but also to give you some tips uh, to get, uh, you know, get you understanding, well, what is this internship experience like? And, um, and uh, you know how best to apply for it. The, but again, the application process is very simple, and I have it, or you know, simple enough. But I have it on here, and we'll talk through that too. Okay. And so, this is an internship program that USM has had uh, with uh, the MHIR Institute uh, for 14 years, and I've helped organize it the whole time. So I'm the contact person, and just let me know. Send me an email if you have questions. I'm the person that you're going to email your application to when it's completed, uh, and uh, I'm the person you should ask questions for. Um, if you have questions about the science, research science, ask me for now. Um, just so we streamline this process and uh, don't interrupt the, the researchers at MHIR uh, for now. Okay, and so. Um, MHIR has a summer research uh, uh, fellowship program. It's very different. It's just their program. USM students apply to it. It's very hard to get accepted. We always place some students there every year because we have a really good relation with them, ship with them, and you can talk to me about that. The applications for that were due back in January. And, uh, but again, it's really hard to place students. Uh, and in contrast, uh, the school year, academic year research internship, uh, uh, we can place and uh, do a good job placing students down there who are strong students who are there, uh, you know, going to really put some energy into this experience. Um, before I forget, um, this is a funded research internship, and so there's a stipend, and the stipend works out to be about uh, $6,200 for the school year. Uh, and more specifically, uh, students get paid $720 per month for nine months. And that's not intended to be the pay for your work down there. Students work down there about 15 hours, well, kind of a minimum of 15 hours a week each week. It varies, and they set up their schedule with their host lab down there, but you know they know you're a student, and so your work's gonna vary. So I mentioned before, also, it's really kind of a nine to five work setting for these internships, uh, you know, nine to five, five days a week. So if you said, oh, you could work a ton on the weekend, it, that's not gonna work out, or evenings like that. This is, the, you know, kind of a work a day thing because somebody has to be present to train you and, and you know, and, and make sure they're there to help with questions and issues like that, right? You need a direct supervisor there and that's when they're gonna be ready. So they have flexibility due to your course schedule and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you know, sometimes when you plan ahead, you'll take time off for final exams and stuff like that, and then work harder the other weeks. But plan for you know, 15, less than 20 hours a week uh, work effort like that. And again, that pay is not intended to give you an hourly wage. It's just to try to give you some funding because so many students at, US, at USM are working their way through college and they just couldn't participate unless they got some money from this. And so uh, that's that. And um, um, then uh, let's just talk through uh, the application process and then I'll go back to uh, more details about how to complete it. So uh, the uh, qualifications are, um, you know, ready to work 15 hours a week. Um, this is, uh, really a high quality research internship and so um, you really want to be ready to really commit and uh, be a hundred percent when you're down there <coughs> the um, um, the it's great if you've had some experience in the research lab or, and certainly you know coursework in labs at USM is pretty important uh, tend to accept students that are juniors that are going to be juniors and seniors next school year and uh, that's just because, you know, we want to make sure they get a chance to do uh, this before they leave, you know, leave and graduate like that. Um, but we place students from every year, you know, of gr groups of students from first year to, you know, new transfer students and so forth. The application deadline is Friday, March 24th. It says at the bottom, uh, um, you submit your um, 
application to me by email. So attach uh, these documents to an email, send it to me. Okay, and uh, the um, so what's included and what's included are a, um, a cover letter, and uh, you may have heard that cover letters for applying for jobs are often just really short. You just say, "I'm applying for this job. Please consider my application." This cover letter has a little bit more information, and uh, you don't have to write a lot, but explain why you're interested in the internship and how it fits into your career goals. What are you up to? You know, why is this relevant? And then we'll get back to this, but you'll identify three, uh, and this is a, just a typo. This is its former name. It's now MHIR. Um, three MHIR scientists that you think you'd like to work with. And uh, uh, again, we'll get back to this. Uh, there's a research description link here. Um, it's a different story for students in computer science or stats, and, and uh, we'll talk uh, separately about that in a moment. So, cover letter with those things. Then, uh, CV or resume, more likely a resume, a one-page uh, resume. You can find examples online uh, and make it tailored relevant to, um, you know, an academic internship. You're not applying for a job, you're applying for an academic experience. So include um, you know your 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 um, academics and um, um, and then at the bottom of the resume you can include like the previous work experience because that's relevant but it's not a job so it's second to how this fits into your uh, academic uh, path then a uh, copy of our unofficial grade transcripts those could include the ones from USM and if you're a student that's uh, transferred here then include those as well and again, unofficial, and you just email them to me if there's an attachment. Then your contact information. And then um, last thing is two references. Uh, and uh, you, you just need to contact those references to ask if it's okay to include their names and their position and their contact, email, or phone number in case uh, one of the scientists at MHIR wants to contact them. One of them, one of this um, is a STEM faculty member, so they don't have to uh, be uh, professors, but one has to be. Um, they don't both have to be. And that one emails me a brief, informal email letter of reference. So this is a pretty short um, application deadline, and so we're not, and you just explain it to the person who's going to write this, and just explain to them that they send a, a this reference directly to me. It could just be an email, just an email formatted letter. Uh, you know, usually it's just that they had you in class and you're a good student and they know a little bit about you, like that. So it's just a brief, informal one. Um, and uh, that's how we uh, just set this up. So uh, you really want to ask that, that person sooner rather than later. And so you know, we've got a spring break coming up. And, uh, and so Make sure you ask the person before spring break because it, uh, the internships are due a week after spring break. And, um, you know, uh, spring break is a good time for a faculty member to write me a brief email. And then you send uh, the other uh, materials, uh, not the letter, I uh, get that directly, but the other information gets sent to me um, by March 24th. Excuse me. And great. Okay. So that's the flow of that. And now uh, I just want to talk about a little bit more uh, some details. So the first one is that um, that here is a link to the scientists that are in the Center for Molecular Medicine. And most of our interns get placed there, and those are the scientists that work in labs and that's uh, modern biomedical research using mice as a molecular genetic models to study the different topics uh, they work on that are described on that pages. And what this is, is these are the scientists at uh, MHRR and the Center for Molecular Medicine that have already said, oh yeah, they would like to host a USM intern this coming school year. They've all hosted them in the past and they have had a lot of really good students down there and they're very successful to have more. You can look at the other names and the research that's going on in their uh, groups, the other names that are uh, their um, faculty scientists and uh, you can include one of those in your cover letter if you want. You can find somebody that you're especially interested in. But I would say you should have two of the three names from uh, this list here. Then um, the, um, 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 here's that link for the description of the faculty um, 
scientist, here's the general molecular medicine uh, link so you could look a little bit of their research areas and learn a little bit more about the Center for Molecular Medicine. This is one center they have. They have other centers. They have another center, for example, uh, called the Vector Borne Disease Lab. And uh, here's a link to it. And USM always places a couple of students in there. They often are coming from the Environmental Sciences Program at USM, but um, we can place students there. So you could take a look at that. And uh, you and I could communicate. If you think you might be interested in that, let's communicate before you apply, and, uh, and, and I can help you coordinate with that. And there are other, some other opportunities, but they're, they're very, you know, uh, less likely, less strong opportunities than the Center for Molecular Medicine. Um, and uh, then students that are working in uh, computer science, uh, IT stuff, and uh, math, and, and stats, and statistical analysis, they don't need to try to um, identify the uh, host lab. Um, there is, um, uh, there are, as the Center for Outcome or Oriented Research, I think, and uh, is what it's called, CORE. And uh, the computer science and um, um, stats students typically will get placed uh, in that in that core or in another setting like that, sometimes more associated with the uh, Maine Health, uh, Maine Medical Center in Portland, research, uh, Maine Medical Center in Portland. So um, um, let me know. Um, like I said, you know, the majority, nine out of 10 interns are gonna be going in that Center for Molecular Medicine, so kind of focus on that. But I want to include other students in these other areas uh, because they are some, there's some very good opportunities. Um, and uh, so I think that's it uh, for now. And uh, um, let me know if you have questions. And again, the application process is pretty straightforward. Uh, I made this video to try to help kind of guide you to, you know, gathering some more information about, um, you know, what the research would entail and who you might work with and that sort of thing. All right. So thanks a lot, everybody. And uh, again, you know, the uh, internship uh, questions come to me, please. And, uh, and we'll see what we can do. All right, awesome, thanks a lot.